Arrow curing has been done for a long time. Yeah. Steve, how long? Did, I mean, like I said, originally original. a lot of tobaccos were shipped. When they were shipping them from the Americas to Europe, they were using barrels to ship them. Also, a giant method of barrel curing is what the traditional hog's head is. Hog's heads were really barrel curing just on a much grander scale. Because a hog's head barrel would typically be as much as 10 foot in diameter and would end up sitting, you know, at, at significant heights. I mean, some of the photos I've seen from old time, some of them look like they're 12, 13 foot tall. But that's a different methodology of fermenting. They call it curing, but it's fermenting. What they're really doing is that's more like they do with Perique. You know, Perique is pressure fermented. When you ferment in a hogshead, it's from the weight of the tobacco pushing down the tobacco at the lower level that's actually giving you the fermentation process in a hogshead. Where when you age it in a barrel like this, this is more like doing a, a micro aging method. That's, that's, that's easy. Yeah. You probably get more of the flavor of the barrel this way, right? Because yes. It's area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other barrel, in, in Brazil, they actually do a coiled, um, I don't know even know what it's strand Yeah, what do you call that? They, 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 they use the, right, yeah. it's a braid. Yeah. They take the tobacco and they actually make it in these big giant Coils. braids. And yeah. I have, but they pressure, they pressure for It's like a huge salami. In these oh, barrels. Yeah. Yeah. So they actually have huge presses that, I don't even know how, I mean, they're serious. Yeah. And the... It's just that's how it, it, that's how it triggers yeah, the because heat that the, the stuff that you have in your office is stuff we picked up at Universal, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And I mean that stuff is like a salami. It is it's so, so dense, fucking dense. You actually it's this you actually big cut and it, weighs it about 30 you cut pounds. it with a knife and it comes off like hockey pucks. Yeah, I mean it, it really is, does. and not in the way that like Absolutely rounds do for it's pipe crazy. tobaccos because you can get those pressed rounds. This is like so dense that it's like solid. Yep, it's it's so heavy. It's just this little thing like this. Holy mackerel, heavy, heavy, it's heavier than metal. Yeah. Seriously. You ready to go look at the bunching? Let's do it.